Today I am going to delve a little bit deeper into resistance training and the importance of hyperemia, also known as the pump in the muscles. All hyperemia is, is excess blood transported through the vessels to a specific organ to um, help it recover, to help it grow and to, to help it work at a higher capacity. Studies suggest that hyperemia, or the pump, if done properly, can force about four times the amount of blood that it normally receives to a specific organ or muscle. So the idea of the pump is, so you stretch the fascial layer between the skin and the muscle. When that's stretched, you obviously leave more room for growth um, long term, uh, so long as you're implementing the correct nutrients and training styles. So the idea of the pump is the blood gets oxygenated in the lungs, then when you're stressing that muscle, the blood automatically gets pumped directly to that area. When the blood actually gets to the organ or the muscle, what happens is the specific organ or muscle absorbs all the nutrients and the oxygen and takes away the rubbish like carbon monoxide and lactic acid. So now the science stuff is over, how do you achieve the best pump on the muscle? Well, it is not necessarily working through the full range of movement, although you don't want to limit your mobility. Okay, so that's very important. So when you are talking about resistance training, there's two very important movements. Concentric is the contraction of the muscle, i.e. the shortening, and eccentric is the lengthening and sometimes the release of the muscle. So the best way to remember or the direction of those movements is concentric begins with a C, so if you just imagine the clouds, so up, and eccentric begins with an E, just imagine, just imagine the earth is down, okay? So if you think of a bicep curl, a concentric is an upwards motion, so you're bringing the dumbbell towards the clouds, and the eccentric is a downwards motion, so you're taking the dumbbell towards the earth. Exact same with a squat, if you think of the contraction, the most force, you're driving up towards the clouds and if you think of the eccentric or the lengthening of the muscles, it's down towards the earth. When resistance training, people automatically think the contraction part of the, the lift is the most important. In actual fact, to promote more growth and recruit more fibres, it's the eccentric, so controlling that squeeze all the way down. In terms of the range of movement, which I spoke about previously, when you are at a maximum contraction, you should never lock out and take the pressure off the muscle onto the joint. So if you think of a chest press or a shoulder press, the minute you drive from the contraction, you're trying to generate as much force through these muscles as possible. If you lock out, you're taking the pressure onto the joint and away from the muscle. Then when we talk about the eccentric part of the movement, you've already driven out, maximum contraction, just before lockout, then you're going to control the eccentric all the way back down, recruiting as many fibres as you can, before you then get to full mobility. Once you get to the bottom of the exercise, i.e. your range of movement or mobility, then you're going to pause for a second, then drive again and repeat that. This is called time under tension. You are stressing the muscle, keeping it under tension for longer periods of time. And the best way to achieve that is practice mind-muscle connection. Visualize the muscle lengthening and shortening in your 